Hello everyone. In this video, I will be covering one of the SQL interview questions that is recently asked in a Cadence interview. Given as an event table, we need to find events with three or more consecutive years for each ID. So we have different IDs available here. So ID 1, ID 2, ID 3. For each and every ID we have years. We need to see if these are consecutive years or not. So for product ID 1, we have 2019, 2020, 2021. So these are in the consecutive. So at least there should be three consecutive years. So it satisfies a condition. It will get an output. Similarly, if you look into ID2, so ID2, we are having only two years. The condition is failed. So we need to get at least three consecutive years. So similarly, if you look into other ID, we have three years, but these are not consecutive years. 2019, 2020 is missed here. Then we have 2021, 22. So this should not come in the output. So only one ID with the three consecutive years are available. So that is ID one, we should get in the output. Similarly, if you have any other IDs with the three or more consecutive years, all the IDs we should get in the output. So let's see how we can solve this using SQL. I'm having even stable available here with all the IDs and here we can see three IDs along with the year. So to get the expected output, I will be using a row number function. We will generate a row number first and based on the row number, we'll see, we'll compare with the year, we'll get the group of values and based on that, we'll see if the count is greater than three or not. So I will be using row number first. I'm doing here partition by ID. So as we want ID wise, consecutive years are available on earth. And also I'll be doing a order by date. So we'll be starting uh, based on the year. So this is the row number we'll be generating. Now see for each and every ID. So for, for product ID 1, we can see row number 1, 2, 3. And similarly for ID 2, we can see row number 1, 2. And for product ID 3, we can see row number 1, 2, 3. So for each and every ID, so based on the ID as we are partitioning, it is generating a sequence of numbers. Okay. Now what I can do, so if I do a, if I compare this year with the row number, I can easily understand how many group of values we are getting and is it a consecutive or not. So maybe what I will do here, I will do minus. Okay, so I will do a year minus row number. So what year uh, minus row number will do? So 2019 minus one, so we're getting a 2018 here. Similarly, 2020 minus 2, we'll get a 2018 only. And similarly, 2021 minus 3, we'll get a, a 2018 only. As we are getting a row number in the sequence, uh, year also should be in the sequence. So if year is also in the sequence, we'll get the same value as the output. So if it is not the same value, if any of the value is skipping here, which means year also skipping. So this maybe I will take it as a group. Okay year minus row number, I'm taking it as a group. Now if we run this one, now we can easily understand. So for product ID one, uh, there are three records. So we have three years, all the, if the, all the three years are consecutive years, so row number also are having a consecutive numbers, so we'll get the same group of value. 2019 minus one, 2018, 2020 minus two, 2019, 2021 minus three, 2018. So this is getting a single group of value. Now, if you check for other records as well, so 2000, uh, sorry, uh, for product ID 2, we have 2021, 2022. Okay, so 2021 minus 1, 20, 2022 minus 2, uh, 20. But uh, here we required at least three consecutive years, so this condition is not satisfied. And similarly, if you check for other ID, so here 2019 minus 1, 2018, here one year is skipping, but we have a sequence of numbers, so it should be 2020 the next record but we are having a 2021. So 2021 minus 2019. So this is not forming a single group. This is forming a multiple groups for product ID 3. So that is the reason this condition fail and uh, uh, it doesn't have a consecutive years. So in this way, uh, if you do year, uh, year minus row number, so we'll get a group of values. If you're having a single group of value uh, more than three times, then that passes the expected output, okay? So we can take this as a CTE, uh, we can do a group by product ID and uh, group and then uh, we can get the count. So if the count is greater than three, uh, then we are getting expected output. Okay. So I'll be taking this as a CTE. Uh, 
uh, maybe I don't require row number now. So group is only enough. So I'll be removing this. Okay. So this is the output for the book query. And I'm taking a city out of it. And on top of this, we'll be doing a group by. So I'll be taking a PID. And I'll be uh, doing a group by. So we'll be doing a group by uh, PID along with the group. So we should check how many combination of groups are available and what is the count of it. Okay, so we have to check a count here. Okay, now if I run this one, if you look on the output now, Product ID 1, we have a 3 as account, so 3 consecutive uh, years. Uh, product ID 3 is available two times, uh, one consecutive year available here, and two consecutive years available here, and product ID 2 it is having uh, two consecutive years. So our condition is we need to get three or more consecutive years for each ID, only that records we want in the output. So simply we can give filter condition by giving a having, having count should be a greater than or equal to 3. Now see, only this record we are getting in the output. In this way, we can uh, find out the ID uh, with uh, three or more than consecutive years. Okay. Now, in case if you want to get years as well in the output, uh, we can use an aggregation, maybe a minimum or a maximum year. Okay. So if I take a minimum of year, so for that uh, ID, we'll get a minimum of year. Similarly, if you want to take a maximum of year, we can take maximum of year as well. If I execute this one, now see minimum year this one, maximum year this one. If you want to get in a single record, uh, maybe we can use a concat. Okay, concatting minimum and maximum year. In case if you want to give any separator in between, so we can give separator as well. Okay, now if I execute this one, now see only product ID one, uh, which having a three or more than consecutive years, so that is 2019 to 2021. This maybe we can give as a yes. Okay. So in this way we can achieve it by using a row number function. So this can be also achievable by using a lead or lag functions. So in case if you have any other alternative approach, please post in the comment box. And also please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet.